we didn't want to make this video, but this is too many bad violent playing. <laughs> right, uh, that's all right. Please come, come at us. More content for us. Yes, so we can educate the, everyone that doesn't learn an instrument. And if you're a musician, I hope you agree with us. Um, here we go. So the first one is Sherlock plays the violin for Eurus. That's totally how you tune a violin, guys. Check one string, two strings maybe. Leave the D and G string. But don't get me wrong, I love the actor. I do love. I, him. I love the actor Benedict. Yeah, I love Iron Man. Here's how you tune a violin normally. You play the A. You check the D. You play it together. Check if the interval fifth is in tune. So when it's a fifth, the frequencies I think move together. Mm -hmm. They're not going against each other because every pitch has a certain frequency physics physics it's not even music it's physics when it's in tune it should ring quite well and you check the d and g string whatever and an a and e string he didn't even pluck the strings together he just plucked one and the other maybe he wasn't tuning he was just checking that his violin made a sound is this a violin Very clever how the uh, camera focused on the face almost instantly after oh. they started playing. Just blow, blow them out, cover. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a good thing. Nice think. save. Yeah. Nice, nice save. What's with this bow hole? It looks kind of strange. Benedict, if you want violin lessons, come to us. Please. Yeah, for we'll, the next movie. We'll give you free violin lessons. Take as long as you want. Nothing against Benedict. I love him very much. Mm -hmm. Just, just for your next time, you have to film violin play. It, it, it ends like that, right? Yes. That's how the, the music bow ends. needs to lift off. Whereas, right now, what's happening visually is. Yeah. It's like a handbrake at the end of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once again, the actor is not doing vibrato, but you hear vibrato. Physics! <laughs> <laughs> you guys know already, but that bow was so off! Guys, perpendicular to the strings, parallel to the bridge. Go, rather than looking at Benedict, you should be looking at your bow contact. Oof! Huh. I've seen, I'm starting to see a common theme with like, Movie portraying instruments is always battling or like a conversation. Yeah. Have you notice? Music's a dialogue, guys. It's never like you just play a phrase. Yeah. It's yeah, just yeah. Like you're playing with someone else. Yeah. Or, or, or against someone else. Yeah. Dude, it looks like this looks like a stock image. The music is nice though. So, good stuff. At least they kept it to a minimum. On to the next one! Guys, I don't think we need to explain much, but please. <laughs> Some love stories do live forever. Man, that uh, video's gonna traumatize me forever. Dude, I think he likes the technique of... The long notes are right, but what does he have to do? But then he just adds a bunch of. Yeah. <laughs> Dun. Dun. <laughs> it's like you can just change the bow, you know, just down and up bow. Guys, you don't angle this way. You angle just this at way. At least move it that way, please. Yeah. And anyway, next one.
<laughs> What's up with movies making every character look up? Bouncing the wrong time. You know, at this point, I'm not even surprised. I don't even care. It's just like, all right, guys, I've I've lost, almost lost hope. I thought the Russians, if any country, would nail violent play. Oi, Strzok. What would Shostakovich think if he saw this? <laughs> now, the next video we have, Top Silor. This is by far the most epically realistic portrayal of classical music I've ever seen. I'm way too excited roasting these people. I know. I should not be this happy. You're late, Tom. You have to skip the hotel and go straight to the auditorium, okay? They've already got that part accurate. I know, yeah. <laughs> Spot on, guys. Sounds like us. Tom Selznick, the new Rachmaninoff. If only he didn't choke. Hey, 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 hey! Very funny! I'm gonna screw up, Norman. I know it. Still pretty accurate. <laughs> Very accurate. <laughs> Before <laughs> concert, damn it. I'm gonna screw up. I know it. All of us could be the new Ling Ling if we didn't choke. <laughs> yeah. Okay, why is the piano at the back? I thought it was his concert. Proper concert etiquette, the piano is always in the front and the orchestra is at the back. Yeah, even just acoustically. If, uh, just picture an orchestra with 80 musicians yeah. and eight, one eight, instrument eight, yeah. at the back. You're gonna have no chance being heard if you're placed behind. Brad Eddy, you don't know what, how hard it is to make a film. You don't know what goes into making a film these days. Stop talking like you know. <laughs> you're right, we don't know, but... We are classical musicians. Mm -hmm. Physics! Wait, 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 wait a second. There's too many things going on. First of all, why is he flipping through the music as if he's reading it for the first time on a concert? Technically, he shouldn't even need the music. Most of the time, we play by memory. Mm -hmm. Even if it's a new premiere concerto, you should know the music well enough to not be kind of turning the page it like yeah. that. <laughs> Play one wrong note and you die! Great way to make make you really nervous on stage. That's a bit dramatic. <laughs> Why would you write it in capitalism and red marking on the music? Sacrilegious move! <laughs> what? At the rest, go to your dressing room. What so do you mean at the rest? Wow, he took it literally. Did he just sprint to his dressing room during the orchestra tour? That is the most intense premise for a classical music <laughs> concert I've ever seen. It is so epic. I want to watch this movie now. It's for three <laughs> bars! <laughs> Alright, if, if you ever feel stage fright next time you're getting shaky bar on stage, just be grateful you don't have a sniper on your face. Whoever the sniper is must be really like... S serious about music. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm still trying, struggling to get my head around this plot. I know, <laughs> why is this a plot? Why is this a thing? This is a classical musician's nightmare. Dude, it's, it's like a horror movie. Why? <laughs> why? Why is this a thing? Out of all the things you can do, fantasy, fiction, action, you had to pick horror and the grand piano. <laughs> And classical music setting concert. I haven't seen this, but I already rate this the best movie of all time. Yes, guys. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like our videos, please subscribe and watch our videos. Check out the merch, cause yeah.